Yamas Sanskrit, yama and its complement, niyamas, represent a series of right living or ethical rules within Hinduism and yoga. It means reigning in or control. These are restraints for proper conduct as given in the Holy Veda. They are a form of moral imperatives, commandments, rules or goals. The yamas are the don't do these list of self-restraints, typically representing commitments that affect one's relations with others and self. The complementary niyamas represent the do these list of observances, and together yamas and niyamas are personal obligations to live well. The earliest mention of the word yamas is in the Rigveda, and over fifty texts of Hinduism, from its various traditions, discuss yamas. Patanjali lists five yamas in his Yoga Sutras. Ten yamas are codified as the restraints in numerous Hindu texts including Yajnavalka Smriti in verse 3.313, the Sandilya and Varaha Upanishads, the Hatha Yoga Pradipika by Svatmarama, and the Tirumantaram of Tirumular. The most often mentioned yamas are, ahimsa non satya non truthfulness, asteya non mitahara non in food, moderation in food, kasama non agitation about suffering suffering, forgiveness, daya non-prejudgment, compassion are among the widely discussed yamas. The yamas apply broadly and include self-restraints in one's actions, words and thoughts. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> and meaning The earliest mention of yamas is found in the Hindu scripture Rigveda, such as in verse 5.61.2. The word in the Rigveda means a rain, curb, the act of checking or curbing, restraining, such as by a charioteer or a driver. The term evolves into a moral restraint and ethical duty in the Jaina Gamas. Yamas is the Sanskrit word for restraint states Stephen Sturgis, particularly, "...from actions, words, or thoughts that may cause harm". Five yamas The five yamas listed by Patanjali in Yogasutra 2.30 are Ahimsa, ahimsa non-violence, non-harming other living beings, Satya, satya truthfulness, non-falsehood Asteya, asteya non-stealing Brahmacharya, brahmacharya chastity, marital fidelity or sexual restraint Aparagraha, aparagraha non-avarice, non-possessiveness Ten yamas The ten yamas listed by Sandilya Upanishad, as well as by Svatmarama are Ahimsa, Ahimsa non-violence Satya, Satya truthfulness Asteya, Asteya not stealing Brahmacharya, Brahmacharya chastity, marital fidelity or sexual restraint Aparagraha, Aparagraha non-avarice, non-possessiveness Kasama, Kasama forgiveness DHRT, DHRT fortitude Daya, Daya compassion Arjava, Arjava non-hypocrisy, sincerity Mitahara, Mitahara measured diet Other numbers At least 60, 60 ancient and medieval era Indian texts are known so far that discuss yamas. Most are in Sanskrit, but some are in regional Indian languages. Of the 60, the lists in 11 of these texts are similar, but not the same, as that of Patanjali's. Other texts list between 1 and 10 yamas, however, 10 is the most common. The order of listed yamas, the names and nature of each yamas, as well as the relative emphasis, vary between the texts. 
Some texts use the reverse of niyamas in other texts, as yamas, for example, vairagya dispassion from hedonism, somewhat reverse of the niyama tapas as described in verse 33 of Trishiki Brahmana Upanishad in its list for yamas. Many texts substitute one or more different concepts in their list of yamas. For example, in the ten yamas listed by Yadadharma Sangraha, Akrata is included as a yamas. Ahurbudhnya Samhita in verse 31.19 and Darshana Upanishad in verses 1.14–15 include Daya as a yamas, and explain it as the ethical restraint of not jumping to conclusions, being compassionate to every being and considering suffering of others as one's own. In verse 31.21, Ahurbudhnya Samhita includes Kasama as the virtue of forgiveness and restraint from continued agitation from wrong others have done. Mahakala Samhita in verses 2.11.723 through 2.11.738 lists many of the ten yamas above, but explains why it is a virtue in a different way. For example, the text explains daya or daya as an ethical precept and the restraint from too much and too little emotions. It suggests daya reflects one's inner state, is the expression of kindness towards kin, friend, stranger and even a hostile person, and that one must remain good and kind no matter what the circumstances. This view for the yamas of daya is shared in Shandilya Upanishad and Jabala Darshana Upanishad. Atri Samhita in verse 48, lists Anarshamsya as the restraint from cruelty to any living being by one's actions, words or in thoughts. Shivayoga Dipika in verse 2.9 substitutes sunra for satya, defining sunra as, "...sweet and true speech." Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Mitahara, Kasama, Daya are among the widely discussed Yama's ethical concepts by majority of these texts. <laughs> Related concepts Yamas are related to Niyamas in ancient and medieval era Indian texts. The former are restraints the don'ts of virtuous life, while the latter are observances the dose". Some texts such as the Hatha Yoga Pradipika use the classification flexibly, where yamas restraints, the don'ts are understood as reverse of niyamas positive attitudes, behaviors, the dose". For example, ahimsa and mitahara are called as yama as well as niyama in verses 17 and 40 of Book 1. In verse 1.40, Hatha Yoga Pradipika calls ahimsa non-violence and non-injuring anyone by one's actions, words or in thoughts as the highest virtuous habit, mitahara moderation in one's eating and drinking habits as the best personal restraint, and sadasana as the foremost of asanas. See also Niyama <inaudible> <inaudible>